When Monica filed for a divorce from Shannon Brown, not everyone was surprised. They have gone through a lot of ups and downs during their eight-year marriage. If this is your first time visiting our channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications. Here are all the signs that Monica and Shannon Brown were doomed. Monica and Shannon Brown met in the summer of 2010 when the former Los Angeles Laker played her love interest in the music video for Love All Over Me. Just a few months later, she was flashing a huge engagement ring on Twitter. Because their relationship went from 0 to 100 in the blink of an eye, the R&B singer knew she was going to receive a ton of backlash. She posted this message on Twitter to acknowledge everyone who had an opinion about their quickie romance. She added, but we know who we are. We pray to an awesome God together. Despite feeling hopeful about their relationship, trouble was brewing almost immediately. When she and Shannon began dating, many people were immediately confused. As recently as June 2010, Shannon was still involved with a woman named Charday, whom he also shares a son with. Charday was even by his side during the Lakers championship parade in June 2010. A week later, he was on set to play Monica's love interest in her music video. And four months after the championship parade that Charday attended, Shannon was engaged to Monica. So was the Angel of Mine singer the other woman all along? Shannon addressed the allegations in a since deleted tweet posted in August 2010. He wrote, Monica is my girlfriend, confidant, and a strong, successful woman that has been through a lot herself, but she is in no way a homewrecker. As a parent, I understand that parenting requires a partnership with my son's mother. However, the relationship between us fizzled a long time ago. Maybe he was telling the truth and things with Chardé were simply platonic, but this wouldn't be the last time he was labeled a two-timer. By the time they got engaged, Monica was 29 years old and Shannon was only 24. To some people, that doesn't seem like a big deal. But if you factor in Shannon's career as a professional basketball player with access to a lot of money and groupies, this was a recipe for disaster. She told The Breakfast Club in 2016 that other basketball wives warned her about the stories and lies that would flood the gossip magazines. But nothing could prepare her for what she would have to deal with. Shannon told Monica on the first day they met that he would marry her. Six months later, on November 2010, he fulfilled his promise in an intimate wedding ceremony in Los Angeles. They had a second wedding ceremony for family and friends in July 2011. The professional basketball player told Hip Hop Nonstop, It's true. That's my wife. I'm her husband. You know, we're going to continue to make positive things happen. The positivity didn't last long, though. Right after they celebrated their two-year wedding anniversary, a woman by the name of Corey Zenobia exposed some old messages. In the messages, Shannon was pursuing the woman, but there was never any confirmation that they actually met up. Still, it wasn't looking good for Monica, and this was just the first of many cheating allegations that would plague their marriage. In September 2013, Monica gave birth to their daughter. Their baby girl joined Monica's two sons from a previous relationship and Shannon's son from a previous relationship. It marked a joyous and happy time in the Brown household, but it was a brief moment of happiness. In April 2016, a woman contacted the blog industry on blast and accused Shannon of sliding into her DM. The woman said the basketball player flew her out for two days so they could hook up and he allegedly admitted to her that he wasn't happy in his marriage. That same year, Industry on Blast also reported Shannon had gotten a woman named Tammy pregnant and was the father of her two-year-old child. Monica denied the allegations. Shannon, on the other hand, posted a picture of his wrecked vehicle on Instagram and said if he could survive that car accident, he could live through all the lies that were printed about him in the media. During a 2016 appearance on The Breakfast Club, Monica said she was hesitant to get serious with Shannon when they first met. Because of her past experiences and dealing with infidelity with other men, she had her guard up. Shannon reportedly told her at the start of their relationship, let me show you who I am or I'm about to cut this off. 
At the time, they hadn't had any issues in their romance, but things were still brand new. She was still very nervous about moving things forward, but she couldn't understand why she was so afraid. Was her intuition trying to warn her? 2018 brought a major shift to their marriage. Monica was spotted out and about without her wedding ring, while Shannon was busy slanging his meat all over Instagram. On March 26, 2019, Shannon posted a cryptic message on Instagram reminding himself to protect the peaceful place he had created in his life. The very next day, it was reported that Monica had filed for divorce earlier that same month, citing irreconcilable difference on her petition. While their marriage may be over, Monica has a lot to look forward to. She has plans to release a new album in 2019, and she is staying focused on raising her children. Even though many people knew her marriage to Shannon was doomed from the start, we wish her the best and nothing but happiness as she moves into this new phase of her life. Do you think Monica did the right thing by filing for divorce? Leave your answer down below and thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.